last a break in the weather, finally a little bit of sunshine and we're heading out onto the lagoon to try some wake foiling or rather foiling behind a boat. Now foiling by no means is a brand new thing, it's been around for quite a few years but in Mauritius as of late, certainly within the last two years, wing foiling has taken off as has kite foiling and there's one great thing that you can do if you want to get into this sport and that is foiling behind a boat because it really gives you the sensation of how exactly you ride, how you use the foil. This is Long, he's an expert waterman. So he was around to show us the ropes and to give us some advice because of course it is quite different being towed behind a boat than it is wing foiling. He's certainly making it look very easy. And Matt might need to rethink his boat technique. Especially in neutral, I'm confused here. So this was the first time for me to be towed behind a boat on a foil. And I tell you what, it was so much fun. Okay, so not too much pressure on your front foot. And try, and try to stay on the side of the boat. Okay, okay, I'm going a little bit faster. Okay, so maybe not the perfect start, but soon enough I managed to grasp where to place my weight. If you use this method, you really get how to feel, how to place your weight on the ball. And then of course you get that feeling of the foil coming up out of the water, how to control it using your legs and your feet placement. And of course then also surfing the wake behind the boat. Now it's Matt's turn to learn from the master. Tu mets plus de poids sur l'avant. Yeah. Et quand tu vas descendre la vague, au contraire, là il faut en remettre un peu plus de pression sur le pied arrière pour remonter, uh, pour garder la, la, le vol. Yeah. Come on, wing. Come on wing. C'est pareil, ça marche pareil. So there's nothing much to it really. You jump in the water, you grab the, the cord, hold on to the bar angle your board at 90 degrees to the boat and then as the boat speeds up you basically the momentum gets you up onto your feet keep your weight forward and then gradually let your weight go a little bit backwards and then the foil will come up out of the water naturally as the boat speeds up and then you can practice you know you can turn you can even surf the wake just like our friend Laurent did here. He's quite the expert, as you can see. Or you can obviously, of course, hold on to that cord for as long as you want and just enjoy the view. And it's very important as well to use the right board. So on this day, we were using a kite surf foil board. So that's got very low literage something around 30 litres is ideal. You don't want to be using a SUP foil board or a wing foil board, which is like 100 litres, because that's just going to be too buoyant for you. And it's still summer here, so of course, when the weather's good, it is perfect for going out on a boat. The water temperature is around 25, 26 degrees, and it just makes for a really pleasant experience. Honestly, if you're interested in doing any sort of foiling, go behind a boat first. It will just make your life much, much easier. So this is just another activity that you can do on the island if you're here. It's just a great way to experience something new, something a little bit different. Whether you have foiling knowledge or not, it really is a fun day out. I'm gonna love and leave you now. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Buy me a coffee if you like, and I will check you on the next one. See ya.